All right, if you like spring weather, then we've got a few more days of spring-like conditions, my friends. 80 degree readings on tap for this afternoon, but before that, we've got some dense fog. Dense fog advisory has been issued not just for our coastal communities, but it has been expanded to include some inland areas through 10 o'clock this morning. Then we're looking at partly sunny conditions, looking for less than a 20% chance of a rain shower this morning and for the early part of the afternoon, and then looking for some of those clouds to part as we get Get into the afternoon. There's a rain shower or two for that early morning commute, but it does look like those clouds will start to break up as we get into the afternoon. Looking for mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions. Look for temperatures today similar to yesterday to warm in the low to mid 80s. Not too far off from the record at Bush Airport today to tie 84, forecasting a high of 82 degrees. And then overnight lows will be closer to the normal high than the normal low. Normal low for this time of year. 47 degrees, nowhere close to that. Meanwhile, for the weekend, we've got some rain back in the forecast as a weak cool front approaches. Right now, it doesn't look like a lot of cold air behind this, but we will be dealing with some rain chances. I want to show you the big switch in the weather pattern for next week because for those of you that are ready for another drop in temperatures for the winter chill to return, it does look like we may be dealing with that as a powerful storm system emerges from the Pacific Northwest and then pushes a stronger cold front not until Tuesday night into Wednesday, and that's going to bring us some cooler temperatures along with some wet weather before that cold front arrives. So about a week from now, uh, we can rejoice in some cooler weather. Until then, we're going to be sweating it out, my friends. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Wednesday. Thanks for watching.